What's up guys, you're watching another episode of ANR Fishing. Today we are in the fly tying station again. Today we are going to be tying up the zebra midge. It's a super simple pattern. It was actually one of the first patterns I ever learned how to tie and it is super effective. So yeah, let's tie some zebra midges and then after, let's go catch some fish on the zebra midges. Let's get it guys. So to start by tying this fly, we're going to be starting with a size 12 scud hook with a little gold bead on it. So you don't necessarily need the yellow gold bead. I like to put it on there because I believe that it reflects a little bit better in the water. And I think it attracts the trout and I think the trout really like it. So to start by tying it, I'm gonna be starting by using some uni thread 6 aught in red. And so you could use any color thread, any color bead. You don't have to use a bead. You, like the options on this are pretty much endless, but red is a typical color for this pattern and it's really, really effective. At least it's been effective for me for this pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by, I'm just gonna wrap over the thread a little bit and get the thread started up towards the head of the hook, up towards the bead, cut the excess off. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my gold wire and this pattern consists of pretty much just thread and wire. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie up the wire right towards the bead. You don't have to do this, but I like to tie the wire up towards the head of the bead because what I like to do is I like to wrap the wire a few times around up towards the bead to give this fly a little bit of weight. All right, so once I've wrapped some wire up towards the bead, I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna wrap the thread over the wire that we had just wrapped. And I wanna completely cover the wire up. Alright, another thing that wrapping the wire up towards the front of the uh, fly can do for you is it gives you a little bit of a tapered body and that's really what we want, a tapered body because insects, natural insects when they're in the water, they're going to have tapered bodies. So I believe that that taper is really attractive to the trout. Once I get a little bit of a taper, I'm just going to wrap my thread back towards the curve of the hook. wrapping all the way to the curve. I'm gonna go on the curve just a little bit and then I'm gonna take that thread and I'm gonna wrap back towards the head of the flyer, back towards the bead. Making sure that the wraps are where I want them, making sure the wraps are even, making sure that my taper is what I want. I'm gonna go put a little bit more thread towards the head so I get a little bit more taper. All right, just like that. And now that I've got my tapered body wrapped, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna evenly wrap it back towards the bead. And this even wrapping is gonna give this body a segmented body. And that's gonna give it a real insect look to it. It's gonna be really attractive to the fish in the water. Once I get the wire wrapped up towards the bead, I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna wrap over top of the wire securing the wire into place. Just give that a few wraps, and then I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna cut the excess wire off. Just like that. Just take your whip finish and you're gonna give it a few half hitches to really secure the fly down. And uh, yeah, you're done with the pattern. Just like that, cut off the excess. Then. You can either call it and be done, or you can do what I like to do and just put a little bit of head cement on the fly. And putting a little bit of head cement on the fly, I think it gives it a, a little bit more reflection in the water, as well as it holds the pattern in better so that the fly doesn't fall apart so fast. Just put a little thin layer of head cement among the whole body and up on the head. Just like that. 
and after that point you are completely done with the fly again this is a super super simple pattern to tie um, it's really effective hopefully you guys tie your own it's a really good uh, passion to get into it's a really good kind of art to learn um, it saves you lots of money and it's really fun to catch a fish on a pattern that you tied yourself so yeah let's uh go get on the water and let's go catch some fish on this pattern let's get it guys all right so we made it out here to the clinton pond it is absolutely freezing out here so let's get our line out in the water and hopefully we can catch a fish before I freeze to death. <laughs> All right, let's get it guys. Oh man, it is so cold out here. Whoo! Here, fishy, 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 fishy. There he goes, got him. <laughs> Just like that on the zebra bitch. There he goes, back in the water. Just like that. But there you guys have it. Caught that one right there on the zebra midge. Let's get the heck out of this cold weather. It is freezing. Woo! Woo! I just got off the water. It is absolutely freezing out there. I'm glad I got one fish. Um, I just had to stand out there and bear the cold until I at least caught one. But yeah, we got one on the zebra ridge. It is a great pattern. I hope you guys tie some yourselves. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And as always, set that hook, catch that fish. We'll see you guys next time.